This is Jonathan from Geotech, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to back up Android devices without root. So I'm rooted here, but I'll show you uh, how to do it without root because I'll deny the super user request. So here we go. So first, we have to install this app called Helium. So we'll go ahead and install that here. Um, just wait a couple seconds. And if we go ahead and open it up here, uh, it'll say, Welcome to Helium. Let's log into your Google account so you can back up to there. So automatically detect the Google account and it shows you it's quite simple because it automatically does everything so now check for root permission so I'm gonna go ahead and deny the root permission so I can show this without root so I'll go ahead and tap deny here and it's been denied so there was an error executed so go back to non root usage so here uh, welcome to get started with helium blah 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 you have to go to this website so I'm gonna go ahead and tap send link so you can send it via email here send um, tap there and now it's asking for you to connect to USB so I'll go ahead and head over to my uh, computer here okay so I'm on my computer here um, so go ahead and head over to this website clockworkmod.com slash carbon it should be on the screen right now or I may have it pan zoomed in I'm not sure make sure you download the drivers if you haven't got the drivers already so my mouse is like glitching out uh, sorry about that so if you haven't got the drivers make sure you down so we have to head back to the device real quick here so we have to enable USB deb debugging so what you need to do is you go to settings if I can find that here we go and scroll down to about and is it now it's not model number it's a uh, build number so you have to tap build number five times I'm already a developer so after you tap it five times it will avail it will enable the developer options and once you're in developer options make sure you turn USB debugging on so yeah now let's head back uh, so if 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 the 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 if it doesn't work try to switch between media device and camera device so yeah each one of them will work so yeah okay so we're back on the computer here we're going to go ahead and install helium backup here so if we exit out of this explorer window um, and go back to here my video is like glitching out I don't know what's happening. So click uh, the respective operating system. Wait for it to download. It will open. My mouse is like... I'm not sure what's wrong with the video here. And for some reason the screen recorder thing is shown on the sky. Anyway, so click next. Next. And install Helium. Just a second here. okay so now it's installed I'm going to go ahead and launch it My, man the video is like really glitching I'm not sure why um, helium open it up we don't need it to stay on the computer for long so it should be fine now it'll open up a very glitchy window and it says you need to plug it in just give it a couple seconds and it's been enabled already so let's head back to our Android device to complete the um, complete it so uh, it says Android app backup uh, enabled your you can now disconnect your from your PC so I'm gonna do it right now okay if you turn your Android off you would need to reconnect it to the computer so that's a downside anyway so here it has a very intuitive interface um, this helium premium which doesn't really do much Wi-Fi so you can back up Wi-Fi network connection settings messages user dictionary and you can back up the data from these apps or you can back up the app itself if you want so that's pretty cool uh, there's also 
Okay, so if we go ahead and tap back up here, we can back up to internal storage, schedule backup, Google Drive, and cloud storage account. So back up already, which is pretty fast. And now if we go to restore and sync, we can easily restore any of the items we wish. So that's about it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.